All right, so just gonna do a quick overview on my ugly drum smoker. So what I did was is I got my fire bowl or fire basket. <clears throat> Probably need to put a couple more holes in there, but it works great for now. Um, that came out of an acorn smoker and one that rusted all up. And that there's actually a poly on its last leg, so I'm gonna need to build a new basket. But that's what holds my charcoal. That'll last all day and then some with charcoal in it <clears throat> currently I'm using royal oak charcoal I pulled the charcoal out because I'm going to smoke some uh, summer sausage and I want the flame coming up from underneath the charcoal to the top so I don't get as much heat but if I want more heat then I start from the top I'm using the grate there from my barrel or my acorn smoker to put on top the charcoal to kind of diffuse things diffuse the heat and then I got these uh, grates from Menards my nasty backyard that I haven't had a chance to get cleaned up but anyways just look down in there there should be a pan down in there to catch the ashes I have not done that um, down here I have three of these holes I believe they're one and three sixteenths or one and a quarter inch so there's a magnet just pop the magnet off that's my airflow and then my chimney is on this lid right here just uh, unscrew that and that comes off and then my smoke comes through there so I'm gonna get this all set up and then show you how I get it started how things get going I use a grass torch from Harbor Freight to get my charcoal started it's a lot quicker uh, then I think that's about all I got for right now but I'll do that for right now and then get back to you all right so this is how i start my charcoal i got two of these chimneys and this one here when you put paper underneath there to get it going i just it don't seem like it does a very good job so started doing this this seems to be a lot quicker um but this is how i get my charcoal going pretty quick um and then once i get this going and once i get my summer sausage and everything all ready i'll get back and show you how I'm going to put all that in. Alright, so I got my chimney going. I'm going to shut this light off here real quick. You can see the flame coming out. It's pretty cool. So I got it going pretty good, but I, I don't want to get it too hot because I want to kind of start smoking about 150 to 200 degrees. Um, and then I have an ink bird that I'll put in the summer sausage so that I can monitor the temp on that. And then I'll get back here in just a second. So check in just a minute. All right, so that bottom grate, well, the bot my bottom grate I'm just using to kind of add as a diffuser. Obviously it's not gonna do very much, but if you look, you can kind of see some smoke coming out of there. So I got all the charcoal in there, got my stuff going i got some hickory in there is what i'm going to use to smoke today with <clears throat> so i went ahead and opened up all three of my holes here just to make sure that i have enough airflow coming in i don't want it to smother out my charcoal just yet and once i know that's going good i'll just kind of close them up and try to keep it around 200 degrees all right as you can see i got my summer sausage hanging now check that out Smoke's rolling good. I already closed up two of my vents down there. Um, I'm going to get this hung in there, get my cables ran through the chimney, get my ink bird set up and running. Uh, I'll get back in just a second. All right, now I got it hung down in there. A little bit concerned that I got a little too close to the charcoal, but it is what it is. I got my probes in there, checking the meat and serving three different uh, summer sausages. And then I got my little uh, grill grate thermometer so that I check the temperature inside. Get back to you in just a second. All right, here we go. We got it smoking. The hickory. My inside temperature is already uh, 33 degrees. So I think what I might do, because I don't want it to get above 200 right now, I just want it to stay... Um, below the 200 mark to make sure I get a good smoke on there. See, it's already up to 140. 
Let's see here, 42. I mean, it's coming up pretty quick. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna close it off just a little bit. Well, quite a bit actually, just to make sure I don't get carried away here. But the neat thing about this Inkbird is it connects to my phone Bluetooth. And right now I don't have it there because um, I, I wouldn't be able to record. So anyways, well, actually I would be able to record, but see, it's already up to 153. It's moving up pretty quick. So hopefully I can get this closed off. Maybe what I'll do. So sometimes what I do is I put this here over the top, kind of slow the airflow down, kind of choke it out a little bit because it's already up to 160. And I don't want that. I don't want it to go up that fast. So I'm going to try to see what I can do here about maybe. I'm going to close it off just a second here. So what I did is I just closed that off. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to let this kind of smother out just a minute so I don't get too hot. And then I'll be rolling. And this will roll all day like this. And two, three, four. See that? I'm already monitoring several of the meats. I've got uh, 19 packages of summer sausage in there that equals 18 pounds. And they're not very big ones, so they should cook fairly quick. Hopefully not too quick, though. So we'll see how this goes. Get back to you here in a few minutes. All right. So I've got my temp to quit going up. So if you look right here, see 178. I had it at 180, and now it dropped back down to 178. So I don't want it to drop down anymore. So I'm going to take my cap off here. And then let's see where am I at there. I'm gonna leave that I might open that halfway just to make sure I don't get any uh, cooler I don't want to lose my airflow either so but check that smoke rolling Isn't that pretty cool all right well it'll be a while before I check back in but anyways things are looking good and I'll keep you posted all right so I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's telling me my summer sauces is done. Some of it's a little bit overcooked. But I think that's just the way it's going to have to be. So, but as you can see, I'm still getting, let's see here, getting good smoke out of there yet. Don't know if you can see it. Uh, anyways, I'm getting really good smoke out yet. So it smoked the whole time. And it's up to 302 degrees. I did that on purpose because I was trying to hurry up and get this done. But here we are. I'm going to open this real quick. Check it out. Now I got my water bath here. Put that in. And it'll be ready to go. I'm excited. Anyways, that's my summer sausage. I'll do a quick finished product when it's ready. Well, here's the end product. Put them in the ice bath for about five minutes just to shock them to get them to quit cool or cooking. Um, I had a couple that was a little bit too close to the charcoal and kind of got burnt so i'll have to cut those pieces off but should still be good uh anyways here's the finest finished product and pretty excited to try some of this gotta let this cool overnight <laughs> 